Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am going to be doing a DIY on how to design and print greeting cards from home. I will be taking you through a step-by-step -step process, starting from illustration, designing the template, printing, and scoring and folding. Enjoy the video, guys. In this video, I am using a 12.9 inch iPad Pro and it has been a great tool for my business. I use the iPad Pro mostly for illustration and it is so easy and seamless and I enjoy working on it on the daily. So if you are starting your creative business, I recommend getting the iPad Pro with the Apple Pencil. It's such a great tool if you are going to be doing a lot of illustrating and graphic design for your business. So I like to start off most of my designs with an 8x10 um, canvas in, and that's in inches at 300 dpi and I also like to use the dry ink pen. It's just my favorite pen to use when I'm illustrating so you'll probably see me using that most of the time. <laughs> If you're wondering why I am using an 8x10 canvas, it's, it's just because I want to be able to print an 8x10 art print if I so desired. So today we are going to do a thank you card and we're going to draw a rainbow. And so here I am sketching out the rainbow with my ink pen. This is just going to be a simple illustration of a rainbow and we're just going to have fun with it. So I am choosing my color palette to start with. You'll see me going through the color wheel. So I'm choosing a turquoise blue, a light blue, and kind of like a peachy blush, and a nice mustard yellow. So let's start coloring the rainbow.
The rainbow card is now complete. I am now going to copy the canvas and I am going to transfer it to another canvas. And the size is 4.25 by 5.5 and that will fit my greeting card template. Now we get to put the card together on my MacBook Pro using Pixelmator. I was able to create a template on my MacBook Pro and it's basically a letter size that enables me to place two cards on one sheet of paper. So whenever I print, I get two cards. So the size again for the cards are 4.25 by 5.5 inches. We now want to export the file as a PDF and you could save it to your desktop and then it will be ready for printing. We are now ready to print and I normally put borderless for full color printing. I use a Canon PIXMA printer. It is great for photos and printing on cardstock. I buy my cardstock on Amazon and it's I think 110 pound paper and it's a digital smooth type paper. So um, if you are wanting to try out this paper, just let me know and I can send you a link to that. It is now time to cut the paper in half. Normally I measure about 5.5 and cut right down the middle. It is now time to score the cards and I score the cards on a Westcott titanium bonded uh, paper trimmer. So it comes with a paper trimmer as well as a score. Um, and I normally score right down the middle and it makes it so easy to fold. But remember that when you are um, folding the cards um, that you fold with the bone as hard as you can and make sure that it lays flat on the desk. watching my video on how to design and print from home. Um, I hope that it was helpful to you. I think the card came out really cute 
And so I'm going to go ahead and list this in my Etsy. So if you're interested in buying this card, um, I'll leave it in the description. So if you like the video, please like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.